I spy with my little eye something beginning with S. Snake? Damn, you're good at this. <laughs> Good morning! So we are in the United States. We crossed over the border yesterday. Um, we They let us in, so that was a good start. They're a bit grumpy, but they let us in. <laughs> and we are, we're actually staying in Seattle, but we've come down to Olympic National Park today. We, as we came in through the, um, like the gate thing to get in, the woman said that actually today is the first day they've had a good view from Hurricane Ridge, which is where we are now, since like October. <laughs> so we've obviously, uh, had pretty good timing and there is literally not a cloud in the sky looking over Hurricane Ridge at the moment so we'll show you what the view's like in a sec. Um, we were literally in the park for about two minutes before we saw a deer with two babies as well so we've done well for wildlife this trip too. up here yeah there's still a lot of snow <laughs> I don't think Melissa's gonna go anywhere near the snow in case I push her in as revenge <laughs> from Jasper She's trying to push me over into the snow again <laughs> So we are attempting the Hurricane Hill Trail up to the top of Hurricane Ridge. We're hoping there's pretty good views from the top down over the valleys. Um, we say attempting, not through lack of energy or effort, although as you can hear I'm pretty tired already from the hill walk, but just through lack of time to be honest because we've only got one day here in Olympic National Park and um, we've got a lot to fit in. So it's a 1.6 mile one way trail. So hopefully we can get the whole thing done in just over an hour. We have just seen our first marmot. <laughs> He's so cute. He's like a giant guinea pig. <laughs> We thought what we saw was a hairy marmot, but it turns out it's actually an Olympic marmot and apparently they don't live anywhere else in the world apart from right here in Olympic National Park. So there we go. So we made it to the top of Hurricane Hill Trail at Hurricane Ridge. Um, it was a pretty steep hike up, so we're still pretty tired to be honest. Um, but there's some beautiful panoramic views and it is a beautiful walk up through all the kind of meadows and wildflowers. Although the only thing is we thought we'd get a much better view from up here than we did down at the visitor centre. But actually, it's actually a fairly similar view. It's a bit more panoramic. Um, but the views in the mountains and things are kind of the same and you can't actually see the lake that we thought we could see up from up here as well. So all in all, if you want a nice hike, then I would do it. But if you're just looking for views, then they're just as good from the visitor centre really to be honest. So there is the most amazing sweet smell up here. I don't know what it is. I've tried smelling the flowers and the trees. We just keep getting wafts of it. It's like sugary, sweet, beautiful smell. If anyone knows what it is that makes it smell so lovely up here, let me know. <laughs> Okay, so we made it down from the top of the mountains and we're now right down in the bottom of the valley area. We are hiking now to Solduck Falls. It's about one mile, um, one way, one mile, one way. 
so yeah a bit shorter than the last hike but hopefully no hills and we're just walking through forest at the moment and it is absolutely stunning um we're really looking forward to the hall of mosses but um at the moment this already is living up to expectations so i think this is actually slightly better than the avenue of the giants Hmm, reminded us a bit of um, the drive to Fern Canyon, except this is obviously actually a paved road. <laughs> but the sun's coming down through the trees with dappled light and it just looks absolutely stunning down here. <laughs> Really, look at it. Oh, that's a lovely moth you have there. Thank you. It's a bit smaller than yours. <laughs> 